This video explains the troubleshooting steps you can take in WhatsApp Gold when researching a missing alert notification. WhatsApp Gold Alert Center detects and notifies you of critical messages, failures, and other key events based on thresholds you have set up on your monitored devices. There may be times when you believe one of your devices exceeded an alert threshold, but you don't see a message in Alert Center. Or maybe you were expecting an email notification but did not receive one. In this video, we'll review some common reasons for missing notifications. The first reason is no notification policy was selected for the threshold. A notification policy is a sequence of notification steps, often in the form of emails, that are sent to specific recipients over a period of time. If no notification policy is assigned to the threshold, then regardless of whether a device has exceeded the threshold, no notifications are sent. To check this configuration, open the Alert Center libraries, then locate and edit the relevant threshold. If the Notification Policy field shows No Policy, then this is why no notification was sent. To correct this, select the appropriate policy from the drop-down menu and click Save. The second reason is that an error occurred while sending the notification email message. If you have confirmed that there was a notification policy applied to the threshold, Next, you can check for email errors. Navigate to the Alert Center log and look for any errors indicating that WhatsApp Gold did attempt to send the notification policy step but failed. These errors may include timeouts, SMTP errors while trying to connect to the SMTP relay, or other issues. If the log messages appear successful, Check the junk folder or spam filtering in the destination email inbox in case the message was flagged as spam. The third reason is that the threshold was not actually exceeded. Back in the Alert Center libraries, select and edit the threshold in question. Make note of the exceeds setting and the duration value. Confirm that the duration is not less than the check interval, otherwise the alert will never be triggered. Next, open the Applied Devices tab and make sure the device is applied to this threshold, particularly if something other than the default of all devices has been selected. If a group was included or excluded, confirm whether the device is a member of that group. For a threshold based on a performance monitor, you can double check this information on the Device Properties page on the Monitors tab. If you see a yellow warning triangle in the Thresholds Applied column, this indicates that a notification policy has not been assigned to the threshold. If this column is blank, it indicates there is no threshold applied to the monitor for this device. If nothing seems wrong on the Device Properties page, then you can open the relevant dashboard or report for the performance monitor. In this example, we'll look at the Disk Utilization Report. Set the date to reflect the period of time when you believe the performance monitor went out of threshold, such as today, yesterday, or week to date. If the report shows that the monitor did go out of threshold, then compare the time frame in the report to the length of the threshold duration. Keep in mind that WhatsApp Gold does not generate a notification based on a single polling result that exceeds the threshold. Instead, it takes an average of several samples over this duration of time. For this example, note that the threshold indicates that the disk utilization needs to exceed 95%, but for greater than 30 minutes. If the report shows that the 95% threshold was exceeded, but for less than 30 minutes, then no notification would be sent. The fourth reason is that WhatsApp Gold is not currently polling the device. If you see no evidence of issues in the Alert Center log or in the other reports, it is possible that there is a polling problem. Return to the report page and set the date to last polled. If the last polled value is greater than the polling frequency, which by default is 10 minutes, then the device may not be polled as expected, especially if that result indicates hours or days since last polled. You can also confirm that polling is enabled for performance monitoring overall. Navigate to your general settings and make sure that the Enable Performance Monitors option is turned on. Next, check to see if the performance monitor is enabled on the device. Back in Device Properties, on the Monitors tab, make sure the performance monitor is enabled for polling. This is also where you can verify the polling frequency for performance monitors for the device. 
If polling is enabled, but you see that the last polled value grossly exceeds the polling interval, and you seem to be missing data for a large period of time in the reports, then you should seek further assistance from What's Up Goal technical support. Thank you for watching this video listing reasons and troubleshooting steps for missing alert notifications in What's Up Gold.